Hey guys, so I've got a bit of a different update for you. Um, I started this little experiment back in May. Uh, TLDR, uh, my house was built in 1973, and the deck uh, probably sometime around then too. And they took some serious shortcuts. I mean, they, they have these little support beams where they basically, I mean, you can see staple right there. Um, they basically just took nails <laughs> at an angle, not even screws, just nails. They put three or four nails in each beam. And of course, uh, with my three dogs playing on the deck, uh, the, <laughs> the nails didn't hold the beams, beams were falling down. And my deck was in danger of, you know, falling apart. So I took out the nails and I was going to get like stainless steel retainer plates. And then I realized, hey, this is a perfect, perfect chance to experiment. Um, I wanted to see what ASA would do in cold weather climates because there's all sorts of data on, you know, UV and heat resistance, but there wasn't really anything on, on cold climates. And as you can see, I too, Cario, it's been snowing. Our temperatures have been in the negative. This plate has been here since May. It's now December, so seven months. Here's one of the pieces we were just experimenting on. So a relatively new print. And yeah, that color, there's like almost no change in the color. <laughs> and again, this has been here since May. As you can see, it has a lot of direct exposure to sunlight, um, rain, negative temperatures, snow, all sorts of stuff. There's no cracking, there's no warping. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Uh, ASA seems to do really well in cold weather climates as well. I, I was worried that it would get brittle and start cracking and breaking, you know, especially with negative temperatures, but no, it's, it's perfectly fine. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about using this material for, uh, for our vent vault project. Um, yeah. Anyway, so thanks for watching as, uh, as always stay tuned for more updates, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.